In this video, I will apply mesh analysis for analysis of DC circuits. The theoretical concept of mesh analysis had been discussed in the previous video. If you haven't checked that video, then please check that video first before solving the numericals in this video. The link for that video is available in the description box. So here I will be applying mesh analysis in three different circuits for the analysis. First circuit is having all voltage sources and resistances. So in this, there are three voltage sources and different resistances are there. Parity of each voltage source is given to us. Now the first step is we need to identify the meshes. So we have three meshes over here. First one. This is first mesh, one independent mesh. Then we have second mesh, and this is the third mesh. Now, to, to these three meshes, we have to assign the mesh currents. For first, I'm assigning a clockwise current I1, in second mesh, I2 and in third mesh current is I3. So we are done with the first and second step of mesh analysis. Now the next step is we have to apply KVL to each mesh. So firstly I will apply KVL to mesh 1 starting from 10 volt source now as negative sign is coming first so it's minus 10 this is a polarity of voltage across this 1 ohm resistance since there is drop across 1 ohm resistance so plus 1 into i1 this is the polarity of voltage as per the direction of flow of i1 across 3 ohm and 6 ohm we need the resultant current through 3 ohm in downward direction. I1 is in downward direction. I2 is in upward direction. So the resultant current is I1 minus I2. Then we have drop across 6 ohm resistance. So that is 6 into, again we want the resultant current in downward direction, I1 is downward direction and I2, I3 is in upward direction. So the resultant current is I1 minus I3. This will be equal to 0. Now when we combine the terms of each and every current together, this equation becomes 10 I1 minus 3 I2 minus 6 I3 equal to 10. Let's say this is our first equation. Then we have to apply KVL to mesh 2. So I will assign the polarity of voltage drop across each resistance according to the direction of I2. Since I is flowing from this point to this, so this terminal is positive, this one is negative. As we know that current always flows from high potential to lower potential. Positive, negative and positive, negative. Now we don't need to look at the polarity of voltage drop according to mesh 1. We have assigned a different voltage polarity according to mesh 2. So starting with the 2 ohm resistance, 2 I2, then we have 
voltage drop across 5 ohm 5 into i2 then 5 volt source again we are moving from positive to negative terminal plus 5 then third resistance that is 3 ohm we want the resultant current in upward direction i2 is in upward direction i1 is in downward direction so resultant current is i2 minus i1 and this will be equal to 0 as per kvl so a simplification of this equation will give us second equation that is minus 3 times i1 plus 10 times i2 equal to minus 5 so this is our second equation then moving on to third equation uh, third mesh again assign the polarity according to the direction of i3 so i3 is in this direction downward direction for 4 ohm resistance so plus minus then for 6 ohm it's flowing in upward direction plus minus and we want the resultant current in upward direction for the 6 ohm resistance starting from 4 ohm resistance we have dropped 4 into i3 then for voltage source negative sign is coming first so minus 20 then drop across the 6 ohm resistance plus 6 into the resultant current in upward direction that will be i3 minus i1 and this will be equal to 0 so this will give us okay i just left one more source plus uh, then we have next source 5 volt source so as negative sign is coming first so minus 5 will be equal to 0 so this will give us the third equation that is minus 6 i1 plus 10 i3 is equal to 25 this is a third equation now when we have three equations and three unknowns these three equations can be solved simultaneously and that will give us a solution of these three currents and this question will have i1 as 4.27 i2 as 0.78 ampere and i3 as 5.06 amperes the second circuit in which i am going to apply mesh analysis is where we want to find out the current supplied by the voltage source here we have six different resistances and one voltage source over here the question for this is use mesh analysis to obtain current supplied by the voltage source so first step over here is we need to identify that how many meshes are there so there are three meshes this is our first mesh second mesh and this one is third mesh so we have identified that there are three meshes then the next step is we need to assign mesh current to each mesh let's assign the mesh current to this mesh as i1 to this as i2 to this as i3 so second step is over third step is we need to apply kvl to each mesh so when we apply KVL to mesh 1, I will start from this 4 volt source. 
move in and clockwise direction as the negative sign is coming first so i will write it as minus 4 this is this is the polarity of voltage drop across 3 ohm resistance as 3 a positive sign is coming first so 3 into i1 then this is the polarity of voltage as for the direction of i1 across 1 ohm and 4 ohm now 1 ohm this is common to first and second mesh so the resultant current in direction of i1 is i1 minus i2 so the drop across 1 ohm is 1 into i1 minus i2 and then we move on to 4 ohm resistance again positive sign is coming first so 4 plus 4 into the resultant current in direction of i1 that will be i1 minus i3 and this will be equal to 0 so when we uh, solve this equation this will become 8 i1 minus i2 minus 4 i3 equal to 4 so this is our first equation second equation will come from application of kvl to mesh 2 now in mesh 2 as per the direction of i2 we assign the polarity of voltage across different resistances so i2 is flowing from right to left side for this 5 ohm resistance positive sign here negative over here positive here negative here for 1 ohm resistance now accordingly we will write the equation so plus 2 i2 is the drop across 2 ohm resistance then again positive sign first for drop across 5 ohm resistance the resultant current through 5 ohm in direction of i2 is i2 minus i3 and plus 1 into i2 minus i1 that is the resultant current through 1 ohm resistance so on simplification this equation is minus i1 plus 8 i2 minus 5 i3 equal to 0 which is our second equation similarly we will apply kvl to mesh 3 now I will assign the polarity of voltage according to direction of mesh current that is I3 plus minus this term will be positive this will be negative positive negative so I will start from 6 ohm resistance 6 into I3 plus 4 into resultant current through 4 ohm resistance in direction of I3 so that will be I3 minus I1 I1 is coming from this side I3 is coming from this side plus drop across 5 ohm resistance I3 minus I2 equal to 0 so simplification of this equation will give us our third equation that is minus 4 I1 minus 5 i2 plus 15 i3 equal to 0 now when we solve these three equations simultaneously that will give a solution of i1 i2 and i3 i1 is 0 0.659 amperes i2 is 0 0.243 amperes and i3 is 0 0.257 amperes so the current supplied by this voltage source is same as current I1. So finally our answer is that current supplied by the voltage source is 0.659 amperes. Now the third problem which I am taking over here for application of mesh analysis is a special case. The special case in which we have 
current source in the outer branch so here we have a current source of 6 MPa and the second branch consists of a voltage source in series with the resistance then we have another resistance over here and the last branch have two resistances and one battery so question is find current through 2 ohm resistance using mesh analysis so again our first step is we need to identify that how many meshes are there so we have three meshes three independent loops first second and third three independent loops which are actually meshes next step is we need to apply uh, assign the mesh current to each mesh to first mesh I am assigning current I1 I2 to second mesh and I3 to third mesh and I have assigned all the currents in clockwise direction you can assign them in anti-clockwise direction or you can take one current in clockwise rest of the two in anti-clockwise direction it's totally your choice because this is our assumption so after assigning the currents to each mesh what we see in first mesh that we can write the voltage drop across 12 ohm resistance we know that what's the voltage of the source but when we come across a 6 ampere source then we don't know what is the voltage across a 6 ampere source instead of that what we can see that in this branch current is I1 so we get one answer direct from mesh 1 that I1 is 6 ampere so this is a special case in mesh analysis that when we have a current source in the outer branch at that time we can get the answer of that current directly so now we need to apply KVL to only two meshes that is second and third mesh so I will assign the polarity of voltage drop across the two resistances according to the direction of current I2 as the current is flowing in upward direction so this is terminal positive terminal this is, is negative and for 6 ohm resistance it is flowing in downward direction so this terminal is positive and this one is negative now apply KVL to mesh 2 so I will start with the 36 volt source minus 36 plus 12 now the resultant current through this 12 ohm resistance in direction of I2 is I2 minus I1 plus drop across 6 ohm resistance 6 into resultant current through 6 ohm resistance that is I2 minus I3 this is equal to 0 so here we can substitute the value of I1 as 6 ampere and when we solve this equation this will give us a simplified equation 3 times I2 minus I3 is equals to 18 so this is our first equation then we need to apply KVL to mesh 3 for third mesh the polarity of voltage drop across 2 ohm is like this because current is in flowing in downward direction for 6 ohm it's in upward direction so lower terminal is positive upper one is negative so when we apply KVL starting from 2 ohm resistance 2 into I3 plus 9 plus 6 into the resultant current through 6 ohm resistance in direction of I3 so it's I3 minus I2 
and then we have a 3 ohm resistance so this will be the polarity of voltage across 3 ohm resistance 3 into i3 equal to 0 so when we simplify this equation this one is minus 6 i2 plus 11 i3 equal to minus 9 this is our second equation so the solution of these two equations will give us the value of i2 as 7 ampere and i3 as 3 ampere and what was the question question was we need to find out the current through 2 ohm resistance so current through 2 ohm resistance is same as current i3 so i2 ohm is equal to i3 which is equal to 3 ampere which is our answer so what we see over here if we have a current source in the outer branch so we need to write how many number of equations that will be equal to one less than number of meshes as we get one answer directly in next video i will discuss the mesh analysis when we have a current source common to two meshes then how to solve that